with the different machines, it is not a completely different system. It is a partially different system. In that, we still have affidavit ballots that are filled out in the poll place on election day, uh, which may be some individuals that you know are at the wrong polling place or or whatever, and they they're voting by affidavit. We also have emergency ballots, which are also paper ballots. Those are for those areas where a machine goes com completely out of service, even for a period of time. Uh, and then we have absentee ballots. Absentee ballots consist of the traditional absentee ballot plus the military absentee ballots. Those ballots have to be counted one week after Election Day. And people have to keep that in mind. One week later. So we went about the business of tabulating the votes on the machines in that intervening week from Election Day to the following Monday. But the following Monday is when we start counting the paper ballots by law. We can't open them up any earlier. And as I have said over and over and over again, and, I, and I'll say it until people finally get the message, how despicable would it be if we started opening all the other ballots and thereby deprived our servicemen and women who are serving in all corners of the earth to have their vote counted and have their vote counted properly. So while I understand that we live in a society of immediate results and you know we don't, we don't want to wait, we're a very impatient society and that's particularly so in New York City, we still have to do two things. We have to follow the law and we have to make sure that every voter's vote is counted. Now couple that with the fact in this past election we had a razor thin on election night margin for Mr. de Blasio to remain above that magical 40 percent number. That heightened our uh, necessity to make sure that we got it 100 percent right. That's our goal at all times, but we were under even a bigger microscope under those circumstances because of how close Mr. de Blasio was to that 39.9 versus 40.1.